guys, welcome back to another episode of Sip with Stasels. I hope you're all okay and uh, enjoying your day so far. I appreciate it's early right now for some of you, um, but I hope you have a good day anyway. Um, yeah, I haven't really got any new cups still, so I'm still drinking out the same ones at the moment. Um, however, today's Sip with Stasel, um, usually I talk about loads of different games and stuff, but actually that's not what I'm going to do today. Um, the card has just been announced for UFC 4 Fight Night CAF 14. Um, I said that really backwards, but you know what I mean. Um, and yeah, I thought we'd kind of have a little rundown of that, go through that, and um, basically go through some of the stats. Um, the stats that I got, obviously, are from the last fight night, so they are slightly outdated, but pretty much up to date. I mean, obviously, people will have been fighting in between now and then, um, but it's still cool um, that we've got these to kind of go through with you. Um, and the other thing um, I wanted to mention, just before I get uh, right into this, is... Um, Start to think about sort of Christmas content for this year and I wanted to ask you guys your opinion on what you think um, you would like to see as Christmas content this year. We always do um, something Christmassy um, over that period and usually it's Atlas but I didn't know if you guys wanted to see something different. So just let us know in the comments. I'm not making any promises for anything but it'd be really cool to see what um, you guys would be interested in for this year. It's not that far away which is a little bit crazy. I don't know where this year's gone. <laughs> so anyway. Jumping into the card. I'm actually going to show the card um, and then kind of talk a little bit about it um, and kind of go from there, really. So here's uh, here's the card for the next fight night, which is on the 2nd of October. So, yeah, not very long away now at all. Um, so opening the card, we've got Hernandez v. Brady, um, which is a great fight. We've got Mandel v. Rublev, Omi Alanchuk v. Augustus, Gadelia v. Amagov, Madison v. Thakur, Van Buren v. Sanchez, Murphy v. Rudvik, Rodriguez v. Evan Smith, Me v. Werner, Zoika v. Brandau, and Richards v. Arias. So um, there are a couple of these fighters that I don't know a whole lot about yet because I haven't been given sort of um, a lot of information yet. Um, but I can tell you what I do know about some of the fights on, on here um, and I thought it'd be cool to have a little bit of a chat about it. So um, I guess first of all, opening the card, we've got Brady um, and Hernandez. Now, Brady, is, he's a great fighter and so is Hernandez. Hernandez actually um, fought in UFC 3, some of you may already know that, I know we've um, kind of chatted about this before on stream. Um, but yeah, so Brady has had um, 92 fights um, in UFC 4 with 87 wins and 4 losses, 1 draw. Now bear in mind obviously these stats are a little bit outdated so don't take them for gospel. Um, but basically he's more of a stand-up boxer um, and he's got great takedown defence. Now Hernandez is relatively new um, to UFC 4 with 66 fights and 66 wins, however very experienced in UFC 3. So um, he's a powerful puncher, he's a push forward pressure fighter and he's got good takedown and ground game. So I mean it'd be interesting to see if Hernandez is going to try and take this fight um, to the ground. Obviously Brady's got like great takedown defence um, and they are both kind of push forward um, fighters, they can stand up and box. So I think this is a great fight to open the card. I mean this could go like either way, I think it's a great fight to open the card. It's a very strong start. There's so much like the opening of this card is just crazy so make sure you're there from the beginning because <laughs> it's going to be a great one um i don't actually have any stats on mandal but we all know that he um he is a great fighter um and he actually wasn't hasn't been in um i think the last couple of fight nights but i'm great grateful to see him back because i really enjoy watching mandal fight um, he will be fighting Rublev. Now, Rublev um, is a bit of an animal. I said 114 fights with 111 wins. Um, he's really tough. He's got a great chin and he hits hard. So it's going to be a tough fight for Mundell. Um, but I do think, you know, Mundell is a great fighter and he definitely can pull this off. So, yeah, we'll see how he deals with Rublev. Like I say, he's, he's a little bit little bit of a tough fighter. So that's going to be a tough fight for Mundell, absolutely. Um, we've got Omi Alanchuk back on the card as well. Again, I don't really have any stats um, for Omi at the moment, I'm afraid. Um, but we all know that he's a great wrestler and that's where he shines really. So um, that's pretty exciting. Um, he's going to be fighting Augustus, who has had 87 fights, 84 wins and 3 losses. He's a striker and defensive fighter. So it's all about whether Omi Alanchuk can get Augustus on the ground um, and do his ground and pound damage like he usually does. Um, Gadelia v Amagov. So this is really interesting because Adelia is a very experienced fighter. He's got lethal head kits. He's had 771 fights. He's won 758. Um, he really is a really, really tough fighter and he's very experienced. Amagov has only had 58 fights. 
he's 155, but he's um, more of a brawler, grappler um, type fighter, and he's known to be really tough. So actually, a great fight for Gedelia because he is he is a tough fighter, Amagov. Um, but I do think gadelia has got the more experience in this. So we'll see how this plays out, really. Um, I think he's going to be a tough fight for Amagov. Um, definitely could be a tough fight for Gedelia if he's not on it. Um, but we'll see how that goes, really. It'll be interesting to see if Amagov um, tries to take him down at all during that fight. This is a really exciting fight. Madison v. Thakur. Um, This fight, both of them are BJJ black belts, and Madison has the fourth most submission wins in UFC 40 AF, and Thakur has the eighth most submission wins in UFC 40 AF. So, this is definitely going to be a fight that if it goes to the ground, it could go either way, and I think this definitely could end up going to the ground. The only thing I'll say is that Madison... For me, I feel fights a lot better on the feet. I haven't really seen Thakur fight too well on the feet at the moment, but I guess this will test him and see where we go from here. Also, um, a bit of an experience difference. Madison's had 600, uh, sorry, 368 fights, and Thakur's had 112 fights. So Thakur hasn't lost yet. Um, so this is a really interesting fight. I think if this goes to the ground, <laughs> this is uh, this could be pretty crazy. Um, Van Buren v Sanchez. So Van Buren, again, we all know Van Buren. He's an experienced fighter. 860 fights. I mean, that's insane. 846 wins. He, We know he's powerful. We know he's tough. We know he has got the most insane chin ever. The best chin in UFC 4 CAF, in my opinion. Um, and he's fighting Sanchez. Now, Sanchez is a tough fighter, but he's only had 145 fights um, in comparison. He is a great striker, but he also has a good chin. So, be interesting to see how Sanchez deal deals with Van Buren. Um, Van Buren is a very tricky fighter to fight because he is so durable. We know how tough he is, and he is just a world-class fighter. So, yeah, let's see um, how that one plays out. Again, a great, great matchup there. Um... Murphy v. Rudvik. Now, this is this is another great, great fight. Um, again, difference in experience. Obviously, Rudvik fought a lot in UFC 3, but um, only recently come back to UFC 4. Murphy has had 695 fights, whereas Rudvik has had 102 fights. Um, Murphy is a BJJ black belt. He's a boxer, and he's really experienced, and he's also known to get into a bit of a brawl. As we all know, watching him, um, he can go the rounds. He'll get into absolute slugfests of fights. Um... And it's just so entertaining to watch. So that's going to be interesting to see how this plays out. Because Rudvik, as we all know, has um, massive knockout power. And he has an insane right hand. If he lands that right hand, usually most people are in trouble or they're going to sleep. Um, he also has really fast hands. So we see how Murphy deals with this. But Murphy also has really good power. Um, he is a great striker. So... Yeah, I, I'm interested to see how this plays out. Um, I don't know, is Rudvik ready for this yet? Well, I guess we'll find out. But um, yeah, definitely think that um, Murphy is very, very experienced. Um, Rudvik obviously is experienced from UFC 3, but I think UFC 4 is a whole different ballgame. We'll see how, how this plays out. So yeah, really exciting to see how that goes. Um, then we've got Rodriguez v Evan Smith. So Rodriguez, as we all know... Um, he is an insane fighter. He's really slick. He's a hard hit. He's got a great chin. We've seen him fight several people now, um, and he's super fast. Um, he looks great every single time. He's had 186 fights, whereas Evan Smith has had a hun uh, sorry 825 fights. So Evans uh, considerably has a lot more fights. <laughs> um, Evan Smith also has had 814 wins. So although it, Rodriguez hasn't lost yet, um, Evan Smith is definitely the more experienced fighter. And we also know that Evan Smith can get into a brawl and go the rounds and get into um, slugfest as well. He's a combination aggressive um, fighter, but he can also fight going forwards and backwards. Um, and that is really what makes him different from a lot of people. Um, I think this could be interesting. As we all know, Rodriguez hits really hard. Um... But I think Evan Smith has a lot of experience, so hopefully he can use that experience um, and we'll see how this fight plays out from there. Um, unfortunately, I don't really have much information um, about my fight, um, so I can't give you much on that. Um, but I will have more, obviously, once the, the fights are, are live and, and streaming um, over over on Twitch. So, yeah, make sure you're there for that. Um, next, really, um, we've got Zoika and Brandao now. This is a big, big fight. Obviously, both of them are world champions. Um, this is for the middleweight title. So, um, 
pretty insane. Brad Nell's coming up from Featherweight, as you all know, is the Featherweight Champion. Um, Zoika has had 912 fights, and Brad Nell's had 688 fights. Um, Zoika has one loss, and we all know who that's to, problem. Um, and Brad Nell only has five. So, this is interesting. So, Zoika's obviously really fast. Um, he's got great hand and feet movement. He's just got great movement in general. He's a big puncher, and he's got a great chin as well, which also makes him lethal. Um, Brandau is a BJJ black belt. Um, he's a really good wrestler, and he is a hard-hitting fighter, but he's more of a combination fighter. Um, I think this is interesting. I don't know. Will Brandau try and take Zoika down? don't know i know that zoic is really good on the ground as well so you've got every risk of doing that there too so yeah this will be interesting to see what happens here it's just whether um the weight differences are obviously going to make a bit of a difference to that fight as well um and then last but not least we've got richards v arias um arias i don't know much about him but what i can tell you is that he's a world-class fighter and that he hasn't lost so definitely deserves this opportunity um and we all know richards um He's pound for pound number one. He stopped everyone in UFC 4. He holds the record for the fastest world title win in UFC CAF history. His stats are insane. He's got 411 fights and wins. Yeah, no one can get past him. The main event of the card is going to be class again as always. But yeah, that's the uh, that's the card really, guys. Um, I just kind of wanted to sit and talk about it. And uh, give you some stats and stuff to go through. Um upcoming to the fight so that you guys know um what what you're coming into obviously like i say they're slightly outdated pretty much i mean it depends how much people have fought but they're they're pretty much you know around that ballpark um which is still pretty insane those stats are still pretty insane so yeah get yourselves ready it's second october really looking forward to that um that's it really that's all i want to talk about today it's mainly just a bit of ufc 4 chat um drop your comments in the um description below let me know what you think um let me know what fight you're most excited for and uh, I'll catch you guys later on. Bye guys. Oh,